is Pastor Susan, and welcome to another day of devotions as we are diving deep on the character of Peter. Peter, Simon Peter, the one upon whom Jesus uh, loved and called and ministered to and through. Um, I want you to recognize today as we are looking at Peter, um, how what, what a personality he had. I mean, one of the things that um, the scriptures reveal to us is that Peter was very passionate um, about his faith in God, his relationship with Jesus. He was also very impulsive. He was. He was impulsive. And we're going to talk about how that played out in his uh, roles that he's filling in the, in the gospel accounts. Um, for the good as well as for the not so good. And so uh, one of the things I think Peter is so relatable to us is his um, his highs and his lows. He has he has both. And we see this happen throughout the Gospels. Um, he is a quick actor and he is a quick talker, right? He speaks sometimes before he thinks. And, you know, I, I love the passage of scripture where Jesus talks talks about out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. And sometimes the abundance of Peter's heart is moving in a very, very wonderful direction. And sometimes it's going down, down, down. So let's take a look at some of these examples that we find um, in Peter's life. Uh, so in, in John chapter 6, if you, if you want to look at the feeding of the 5,000, that story of the feeding of the 5,000, um, you know, Jesus uh, has made this miracle happen where everybody is fed and people are just amazed at this. And they just want to follow Jesus because why? Because it gets a food. And, and Jesus starts to talk to them about really what it's about, what he is about. And he says, I am the bread of life. You, if you want to follow me, you must eat my flesh. Well, I mean, of course, he was talking metaphorically there about believing in him, resting in him, being centered on him. And yet the people thought, eat my flesh. Ugh. And so they start to fall away. And Jesus turns to his disciples and he said, will you go away too? And it's Peter who says, Lord, where will we go? You have the words of eternal life. And we say, yay, Peter, you got it. You're spot on there. And then we go to Matthew chapter 16, which is our passage for today. And in the beginning of this, I want to read, I want to read this in segments to you because we see both the highs and lows in Peter's, in Peter's journey. Okay, I'm going to be starting with Matthew 16, verse 13. Now, when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, who do people say that the Son of Man is? And they say, some say John the Baptist, and others Elijah, and still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, but who do you say that I am? Simon Peter, he answered immediately, you are the Messiah, the son of the living God. And Jesus answered him, blessed are you, Simon Barjona, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven, and I tell you that you are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church, and the gates of Hades will not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven, and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth will be loosed in heaven. And then he sternly ordered the disciples not to tell anyone that he was the Messiah. Okay, so here we find Peter making this statement, I mean, impulsive, passionate statement. You are the Messiah. You are the Son of God. With you is eternal life. And Jesus says, blessed are you. And I'm going to call you Peter, because his name was Simon, but he added Peter to the name, which is Cephas, which means rock. Now, some people get a misunderstanding here about what Jesus is saying. Some have, have understood this to say that Peter will build the church. But that's not what Jesus is saying here. He's saying, you, this statement is rock. On this rock, on this confession of faith, 
I'm going to build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Okay, so Peter is, yay, he's saying the good stuff. But let's see what happens just another few verses later, starting in verse 21 of chapter 16. From that time on, Jesus began to show his disciples that he must go to Jerusalem and undergo great suffering at the hands of the chief priest and the scribes and the elders and be killed and on the third day be raised. But Peter took him aside and began to rebuke Jesus, saying, God forbid it, Lord. This must never happen to you. That's so smart, Peter. <laughs> but Jesus turned and said to Peter, Get behind me, Satan. You are a stumbling block to me. For you are setting your mind not on divine things, but on human things. Wow. Get behind me, Satan. Peter, rock. You're a stumbling block to me. Get behind me, Satan. Get be Not Peter as Satan, but these words as being from not God, but from the curse. From the Satan, the, the one that is moving against the will of God for Jesus' life. So, another place that Peter kind of impulsively speaks kind of a kind of silly thing is uh, just in another chapter in ahead in Matthew's gospel in chapter 17 you may remember the story that Peter James and John go up the top of a mountain and it's it's where Jesus is transfigured and he has this wonderful experience with Moses and Elijah and um, and Simon Peter again instead of keeping his mouth shut just <laughs> says Oh, this is so good, Lord. Let's just build some tents and stay here for a while. And Jesus says, well, actually, the voice of God from heaven says, hush, hush, and listen, listen. And so these words, I think, give us instruction today that out of our heart, our mouth does speak. And so probably one of the things before we speak we really should take moments to think. Don't act before you stop and listen and think. Think about what God shows us through the life and ministry of Jesus. Think about the calling that God is placing on your life. And before you speak uh, something that you're really passionate about, take just a moment to breathe. Take just a moment to reflect. Take just a moment to ask God to give you words of blessing, blessing, and truth. May it be so in your life and mine today. Just take a breath before you speak and know that God is with you and loves you. And God loved, loved Peter as well as Jesus did. And God loves you and me when we fail as well. Let's try today to learn from Peter and listen before we speak. Amen and amen. Mm -hmm.